Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how you can run a file in Visual Basic um, as administrator in Windows 7 and Windows Vista. Um, this is quite useful for if you've got a particular file that needs administrative rights and um, it won't let you do that until you've done that. Um, in this I'll just be doing a quick example of running a batch file as an ad administrator. So if you wanted to go over to um, Visual Basic and start a new project I'll be calling it run as you can call it whatever you want and in here we're just going to add um, a button so I'm just going to be adding a button and once you press the button what it'll do is it will write the file and run it as an admin to get started, I'm just going to import system.io. So and once we've done that, I'm going to actually declare the file I'm going to write. So I'm just going to save this on my desktop. One sec. Um, so you need to type in dim file writer. Now as new system dot io dot streamwriter and then you type in the directory obviously you put your own um, directory for uh, <laughs> whatever you wanted to save it and once you've done that you can actually start writing the file so yeah. sorry I have no idea what happened there um, <laughs> so it's you type in file writer dot write line and then here you'd actually type what you're going to be what's going to be in the file so for this I'm just going to actually um, write a batch file to clear your um, ARP history. So to do that, you, all you have to type in is ARP space minus D space asterisk. And normally if you actually did that in um, a batch file, it'd say you can't do it, you need admin rights and all the rest. And you, you just don't want to be dealing with that. So um, what, what you'll actually do is when it runs the file, it'll ask you for your permission as an administrator. To run the file, so um, then it'll work from there. So once we've done that, we need to close the file once it's been written, so we can actually read it later on. If we do file writer dot close, and once we've done that, we can actually start writing the code to run it as an administrator. So I'm just going to uh, do a try just in case anything fails. I don't want to. Um, it's a crash because it doesn't look very professional. Um, and then we do dim proc info. My keyboard's been a bit funny today. As new process start info. And once you've done that, you actually need to do proc info dot use not username shell execute I really can't type today that's always a good start isn't it equals true proc info dot file name and then you do the um, location of the file we've just created or if you've already got a file you need to run as an administrator then you can go ahead and do so I'm just going to copy and paste it from up here so I'm allowed to be lazy and once we've done that you need to do proc info dot working directory equals and then you can just leave that blank then proc info dot verb equals 
runouts. Now you can do proc info dot start. Ah, wrong thing, sorry. <laughs> Process dot start. And then you do the need to proc info. And then in, in here, just in case something does fail, I want to be able to see why. And your message box dot sure x dot message. And what I'll do is once you run the file, it'll um, show you what the error is if you've done it. If if it generates an error, that is sorry. So we can go ahead and save that. And we can run it. Hopefully I've given the right directory and everything. But um So once you've done that, I don't know if you'll be able to see this in the video, but um it'll say user art account control and it says program name Windows command processor verify publisher Microsoft Windows um do you want to allow the following program to make changes to the computer? If you just go ahead and click yes and you've done. So what that's done is it's generated a file and run it as an administrator. If you've already got a file you want to start up as an administrator, you can just change the directory to the executable or whatever you want it to run. And thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or if you've got any feedback or if there's anything you want to say then please do so if, if you like the video, like and subscribe, um, if you can like us on Facebook, that would be brilliant. Um, if you want to go on our website and look at some of the other videos we've got, if you go through YouTube and check out our channel, um, feedback's much appreciated. So thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.